Namaste, and welcome to Beginning Yoga. My name is Lisa Barrent, and I'm joined in the studio today by Lisa and Martin. Today's class is going to focus a little more on twists. Twists are wonderful. They lengthen and stretch the spine. They also massage the abdominal organs, which supports a healthy digestive system. So I hope you'll roll out your mat now. Let's get started. We're going to begin today in a wide leg child's pose. So bringing your big toes together and then taking the knees to the width of your mat. Go ahead and come forward and relax your forearms onto the floor. Relax your forehead onto the floor. So we're beginning with a very passive pose here, allowing the hips to settle back over the heels, a little opening across the front of the chest and the armpits, closing your eyes and just taking a few breaths. Slowing down and regulating your breath as you breathe into the upper back ribs. Feel them expand and contract. And then we'll start to move in more, more towards an active pose. So really extending the arms forward, forearms coming off of the floor, elbows straightening. Hips still settling down and back on the heels. Feeling the upper back muscles beginning to engage. Feel the spine growing longer here. And then let's walk hands over to the right for a little side stretch, keeping that left hip cutting back and settling over, sitting bone over heel. Taking some breaths into that left rib cage. And with your next inhale, go ahead and come back through center. And then walk hands over to the left, nice and slow. Feeling that right sitting bone rooting over the heel, right hip cutting back, breathing into the right rib cage. Smooth, deep breathing. And with your next inhale, go ahead and come back to center. Checking to see that your hands are shoulder width apart, fingers radiating from the palm. And with your next inhale, come up to all fours. Go ahead and realign your shins. And then we'll take some dog and cat stretches. So inhale, arch the spine, lift your heart, lift your sitting bones. And then exhale, round the spine up towards the ceiling. Inhale, come back to the arch. And exhale, round. Let's take one more just like that. Inhale to arch. And exhale to round. With your inhale, come back to neutral. And either tuck toes and sit on your heels or just come to kneeling for a moment. Let's just interlace the fingers and rotate the wrists around a few times. Preparing the hands and the wrists for downward facing dog. Getting some suppleness. And then let's release that and come back to tabletop. And tuck your toes and begin to lift the hips up and back. Keeping a real generous bend in the knees. Up on the tippy toes, just stretching the spine nice and long. Let your head hang heavy. You can even shake out your hair. And then let's straighten the legs on an inhale. Pointing the sitting bones straight up, exhale, lower the heels. And just take one more breath here. And with an exhale, lower the knees down, back to tabletop position, and we'll take our first twist. So with an inhale, take your left arm up. And as you exhale, slide the back of the hand through, bringing your left shoulder and your left cheek to the floor. Pausing here for a moment, make sure you feel your sitting bones reaching straight back. And then start to creep your right fingertips forward until your right arm is straight, reaching toward the front of your mat. And this may be enough, this can be pretty intense. 
If you want a deeper stretch, begin to creep the fingertips towards the left corner of the mat and start to roll that right shoulder on top of the left, maybe taking the gaze upward. Encouraging a long spine here. Take another deep inhale. And as you exhale, go ahead and walk the right hand back in, coming back to all fours. Inhale, arch the spine. Just one cat and dog stretch. Exhale, round. And with your inhale, come back to neutral and take the right arm up, moving to the other side. And exhale, sweep the back of the hand through, right cheek, right shoulder to the mat, and then beginning to take that left arm forward. Elbow straight. Maybe creeping fingertips toward the right corner of the mat. Nice deep breathing here as you lengthen the spine. Deep inhale. And with your exhale, go ahead and bend the left elbow and come back to all fours. One big arch in the spine on the inhale. Exhale to round. Come back to neutral, tuck your toes and make your way back to downward facing dog. Just taking a couple breaths here. Hands pressing firmly into the mat to lift the hips up and back. Maybe spreading your toes and fanning them out. And then let's walk the hands all the way back to the feet. So we're in a hanging forward fold, clasping onto the elbows. And it's fine to soften your knees. You want to keep the ribs close to the thigh so it doesn't strain the low back. Draw some of the weight forward into the toe mounds so not all the weight is in the heels. One more breath here. And then release your elbows, place your hands on the front of your shins, and as you inhale, lift the chest up away from the ground, away from the thighs, long, flat spine. And as you exhale, hands glide down to the ankles, taking you into a forward fold. Again, inhale, halfway up to extend, long neck, and exhale, folding deeply. One more time, inhale, halfway up, extend, exhale to fold, and with an inhale, circle the arms out and up, come all the way up to standing, and palms touch overhead, and exhale, hands down to your heart. Release the hands to your sides, we'll take a Arda, half Surya Namaskara. Inhale, sweeping arms out and up. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. Bent or straight knees. Inhale, halfway up to extend. Exhale to fold. Inhale, arms circle out and up. Arms reaching overhead. Let's dive right back down on the exhale. Inhale, come halfway up, extend. And this time, just walk your hands forward back to downward facing dog. Taking a moment here, just find the pose, fill it out. And with your next exhale, go ahead and walk the feet forward to the hands. Again, inhale halfway, up, extend the spine. Exhale, fold. And with your inhale, circle the arms out and up. Come all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands down to your heart. And then release the hands to your side. Let's take another side stretch here. So reaching arms up and overhead. Right hand will grab left wrist. And start to pull the left arm up, get some length. And then leaning over to the right, keep the weight even in the feet. It's difficult to breathe in this side stretch, so don't go too far. Maintain your smooth, deep breathing. Then with an inhale, come all the way up. Release the arms for just a moment. Go ahead and sweep them down to your sides and just shake them out. 
and then we'll take the other side. We want to keep circulation moving in the arms. So inhale, arms overhead. Left hand will grab right wrist. Inhale, the right arm up, and then start to side bend over to the left. Taking one more full breath here. And with your inhale, come all the way up and release your arms down to your sides. Go ahead and roll the shoulders, any movements you need to get the circulation back in the arms. And then coming to the front of your mat, if you're not there already, with an inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. Bent or straight legs. Inhale, halfway up to extend the spine. Exhale, plant your palms and step all the way back to downward facing dog. Find the pose. And with your inhale, come forward to plank pose. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, lower all the way down, maybe lowering your knees first if you need to. We'll take a cobra pose variation, so tops of the feet down. Walk your fingertips out from your shoulders, about six or eight inches, so your arms look like a little crab. And then press into the fingertips, coil in the upper back, so shoulder blades absorb. Inhale, come up to cobra. Press the tops of the feet down. And take a deep inhale here. And exhale, come all the way down. Place your hands under your shoulders. Press up to all fours. Tuck the toes. Back to downward facing dog. And then walk your feet to the width of your mat, all the way to the sides. Bring your thumbs to touch. And if your heels don't come all the way down here, walk them closer to your hands until they do. And then we're gonna sweep the left hand over to the out, outer right, either the knee, shin, or ankle, whatever you can catch a hold of, and twist to the right. Good, and then come back to center. And let's take the other side. Right hand sweeps across. And then coming all the way back to center. Go ahead and separate your hands to shoulder width. Bring your feet back to hip width apart into your classic downward facing dog. Stretch the spine up and back. And with an inhale, take your right heel up and back. Bend the knee and open up the hip. And then let's straighten the leg. Turn the hip down all the way down, so squaring hips. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna bring your right knee towards your left elbow, so bringing it across into another twist. And inhale the leg all the way back up. Exhale, right knee towards left elbow. Inhale the leg all the way back up. Exhale, right knee towards left elbow, and then extend the leg out to the side. So you're on the outer edge of your right foot. Roll to the inner edge of your left foot for twisting plank. Try to lower your hips so they're in line with the chest and legs. And then come back to your one-legged downward facing dog. Nicely done. Exhale, knee towards nose. Step the foot all the way up between the hands. And then lower your back knee down. Hands up to the top of your right knee. Sinking into this pose. And then arms reaching up and overhead. Palms touch. Exhale, hands through heart center. Bring your left elbow across your right thigh. Just staying for a couple breaths. If you'd like to come off the back knee, feel free to do so. Tucking left toes, straightening left leg. Nice, everybody. With an inhale, unwind all the way back to center. Take the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back to plank. And lower down to the belly. Lowering knees first if you need to. Very nice, you guys. Regular cobra pose, tops of the feet down, pubic bone roots. Inhale, just one breath. 
Exhale, lower all the way down. Pressing up to all fours. We'll take a deeper twist now. So come back to tabletop and inhale the left arm up. Exhale, sweep the back of the hand through, left shoulder, left cheek to the floor. And this time we're gonna sweep the right arm up towards the ceiling. And exhale, take it behind you. So you may be able to reach your left hip crease or maybe just hold on to the waistband of your pants. Draw the right shoulder back over the left. Taking one more full breath here. And then inhale the right arm back up. Exhale, sweep it down. Come back to your neutral tabletop position, tuck toes and downward facing dog. And you may notice we're moving a little faster pace today. And ideally you'd want to hold all these twists for about five or six, maybe seven or eight breaths. But we're moving a little quicker today. So if you do these sequences again, take the time. Really good benefits. So let's move to the other side. Inhale the left heel up and back. Bend the knee and open up the hip. And then straighten the leg. And turn the hip all the way down. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, left knee towards right elbow. Bring it all the way across. Inhale the leg all the way back up. Knee towards right elbow. Inhale all the way back up. Good. Knee towards right elbow. And then extend the leg out to the side. Outer edge of uh, left foot, inner edge of right foot for twisting plank. Lower the hips. Lift the chest. And then come back to your one-legged downward facing dog. And exhale, come through. Knee towards nose. Step it all the way up between the hands. Lower the back knee down. Low lunge. Hands to the top of your left thigh. And then arms reaching up and overhead. Palms touch. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to the heart. And then taking the right elbow across the left thigh. Coming off the back knee, if you'd like. With an inhale, come back to center. Take the arms overhead to unwind. And exhale, hands down. Step back to plank pose. Shifting the weight forward, lowering down onto the belly. Cobra pose again. Tops of the feet down. One big breath for cobra. Inhale up. And exhale, come all the way down. Press up to all fours. Come back to your neutral tabletop. And then we'll take our deeper twist. Inhale the right arm up. And exhale, sweep it through. Right shoulder, right cheek to the floor. And then inhale the left arm up. And as you exhale, sweep it all the way behind you. Using something as leverage to draw the left shoulder over the right. One more breath. And then inhale the left arm up to the ceiling once again. Exhale, sweep it down. Come back to tabletop pose, tuck your toes, and come back to downward facing dog. Just a breath or two. Letting the spine unwind as you lift the hips up and back. And then bend the knees and walk your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, hands to the shins, come halfway up, extend the spine. And exhale to fold. Bend your knees, let your hips drop toward the floor and come into chair pose. So either arms out in front, palms facing, or maybe arms overhead. Sit nice and deep into your pose. Shift the weight back into the heels. 
Palms come together. Inhale. Draw them down to your heart. Exhale, left elbow across the right thigh. Really let the hips lower as much as you can. Draw the belly in and twist. With your inhale, come all the way back to center. Reach your arms overhead. Very challenging. Exhale, hands come together, palms touch. Left elbow, or sorry, right elbow across the left thigh. With your inhale, come all the way back to center. Arms overhead, reaching. Good, and then exhale, fold. Hands come to the floor. Then the knees straighten. Inhale, halfway up to extend. And as you exhale, return to downward facing dog. Just taking a breath here. Good, deep inhale to lift the hips up a little bit more. And with your exhale, slowly lower the knees down. Untuck your toes, come into child's pose. Either knees apart or knees together, your choice here. And let's take the time to sweep the arms back by the feet and allow the shoulders to droop forward. Coming back to your breath. Filling the back ribs. Take one more slow cycle. And then bringing your hands next to your outer knees. Tuck your chin in towards your chest and with a rounded spine, slowly rise all the way up to seated. Oh, it feels so nice, all those twists. Let's take the legs out in front and give them a little shake if you need to unwind. And then coming to a Dandasana pose, staff pose, go ahead and lift the bounty of your booty, I like to call it. Find your sitting bones underneath you, root them down, feel the legs engage, sit nice and tall. And then let's bend the right knee, bringing the heel towards the groin, but not so far in that you round the low back. So sit nice and tall, taking your right hand behind you on the mat, hug your right leg with your left arm. Inhale, get nice and tall, and exhale, twist to your right. Gaze wherever it's comfortable. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. And one more slow breath, just like that. And then with your inhale, look forward. Unwind all the way back to center. Extend the right leg forward. And give them a little shake if you need to. Moving to the other side, bending the left knee, sitting nice and tall, left fingertips come behind you, hug the left leg in with your right arm, and then inhale, get tall, keep that right leg very active, and exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, nice and tall, feel the spine lengthening upward, exhale, twist. And one more breath, just like that. And gazing forward on your inhale, slowly come back to center, extend the left leg forward. Let's take a little forward fold here. So with both legs, engage, sit nice and tall, inhale, sweep your arms out and up, and exhale, folding forward. Paschimottanasana. Let's take two more breaths to settle in. And with your next inhale, go ahead and walk the hands all the way back in. Coming to upright, bending the knees. Let's come into a cross-legged seated pose. Again, find the sitting bones underneath you. Allow your knees to settle over your ankles. 
Place your hands on your thighs. Hmm. Allow the eyes to gently close. Shoulders relaxing down away from the ears and just taking these last few moments to feel how long your spine has become. Notice what's changed. Notice how vibrant the abdominals feel here. And then bringing your hands to heart center. Thumbs gently touching at your sternum. A gentle bow forward of the head. Taking this moment to reflect on your practice today and to silently express gratitude for your health and well-being. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope you'll come again soon. Namaste.